Hey guys, welcome to day two of Accentuate Your Style with Amanda. So if you tuned in yesterday, you know that the whole goal of what I'm doing here for you is I jump on live at 9.30 every day to essentially get dressed with you, right? I, I go through and I deconstruct what I'm wearing to help give you some style inspiration as you're getting dressed. And the whole goal is just to give you ideas to go through your closet, pull out things you already own that are similar to what I have on so that you can mix and match, right? It's just a way to really freshen up what you're wearing. Sometimes we get stuck in a rut and just need a little bit of inspiration. So that is the goal of this little session that I'm doing with you Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. If you recall, the theme this week is blazers and jackets. And from the title of today's video, you know that I'm gonna be sharing with you how to wear velvet during the day. So I feel like growing up, I learned a lot about like velvet was only meant to be worn for special occasions. And I don't believe in fashion rules. If you've been following me for a while, you know there are no rules in fashion. Why save the velvet for a special occasion? The only rule I have is that Anything you put on your body has to make you feel amazing, has to make you feel like you, right? It's not just taking what you're seeing in the magazines or even what you're seeing me wearing. It's about putting on your body the things that make you feel like your best self and your truest self. And so if you feel like wearing velvet during the day to work or to run errands or to pick up the kids from school, wear your velvet. Life is short. It's just like how people try to save their china for special occasions. No, use the china, right? Life is meant to be lived, and so use all the special things. Okay, so enough of that little rant. So, um, oh, hi, Angie. Oh, yes, I love this blazer, too. Fun fact, this was actually a win from um, when I was helping a client purge her closet. This was something that just really no longer served her, but it worked really well for me, so, <laughs> so she gifted it to me. So that's the beauty of, you know, uh, pulling out things from your closet that maybe don't work for you anymore and they're perfect for someone else. That's why purging is so important. Okay, so today's outfit, going back to the look. This one's actually really, really easy to recreate. It's almost like a one, it's like a two and done. Like dresses, I always say, are one and done and then you add a blazer on top and it's a two and a done. So that's exactly what I did. I threw on this little velvet blazer as my topper and you can see it's a little bit longer. I almost feel like it's like a, um, a cigarette jacket. Didn't they used to call it smoking jackets? That's what, that's what they used to call these. That's what, not that I smoke or any of that, but that's what this kind of feels like. The, this longer, I know I did an oversized blazer yesterday too, but I'm just feeling that vibe right now. Don't worry, I'll do more fitted stuff later this week too. But so just more of an oversized blazer, right? So easy to throw on. And I'm going to digress for a second too. Um, yesterday I talked a lot about chakras and I was wearing pink. Um, under the blazer and obviously I'm still really feeling pink for my heart heart chakra because this is what I gravitated towards getting dressed this morning and um, if you recall when I, I if, if you didn't watch yesterday go back and watch yesterday because I talk a lot about chakras and what they are and I will just say with pink pink and green are associated with your heart chakra so I've been feeling like my heart chakra is blocked and so I've been craving pink lately um, and typically what that means is with your heart chakra, it means you're, you're leading with love and you're showing uh, love to yourself. So if that chakra is blocked, then it's a great time to re-examine, okay, how have you been treating yourself? Have you been showing yourself love? Have you been talking to yourself nicely? Have you been giving yourself baths? Have you been taking care of yourself? Um, and then when you are leading others, right, are you also going about it from a place of love? So that's the heart chakra. Okay, so back to the outfit. So this was the last little topper that I threw on and yesterday I belted the blazer. Today I just felt like wearing it kind of open. Um, reason being, I have a more fitted dress on underneath. So when you're doing a more oversized blazer like that, I definitely think it's, it's nice to have something underneath that's a little more fitted to show off your shape. And in this case, I went with a gray, just it's like a t-shirt dress. And you can see it's got some great ruching. So anytime you have ruching, I love that because it just hides anything you might wanna hide, right? And it adds just a little bit of texture to your vibe, okay? And so then I threw on, it felt like with this dress being a little bit lower cut, it felt like I wanted a, a longer necklace just to kind of draw the eyes down a little bit more. So I threw on just a longer silver necklace. And you guys can see, I mix metals, so gold, silver, 
uh, gold and silver. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with mixing metals. I know some people prefer silver, some people prefer gold, but if you wanna mix it, totally mix it. There's, there's nothing wrong with mixing your metals. Okay, so then the last, uh, the, the last thing I did, well, the throwing on the blazer was last, but the shoes that I put on today with this whole vibe, I'm kind of obsessed with these snakeskin. I've been posting a ton of pictures um, in these. These are the faux snakeskin boots, and I feel like with this look, with the blazer, I'm gonna kind of cape it back on so you can get the vibe. But with this look, throwing on a higher boot felt really fall to me. Okay, so that's why I went with it. And I love the snake skin for just a little bit of a pop of texture and adding just some fun to it. And um, of course, you could also do a black boot if you wanted to. You could do, I wouldn't do brown with this color scheme, but uh, black would look good. You could even do a deeper gray with it. Um, you could even get all matchy matchy and do a color like the blazer. But I just love the snake skin for a little bit of an extra pop. Okay, what else did I want to tell you guys? Do, 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 do. I feel like that's it with the outfit. Um, you know, the other thing, obviously, when I first started this, I had this on like a regular jacket. You could, of course, cape it if you want. Um, I personally, for this vibe, I'm all about caping the jacket, but personally, for this vibe, I am loving putting it on. Oh, yay. Hi to everyone that's jumping on. I'm kind of, I'm doing my deconstructing my look for today. So you have to go back and watch from the beginning. <laughs> you can see why I deconstructed, but yay. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Nikki. Oh, Angie, when it doesn't serve me, you have dibs. Totally. Your name is on this when it doesn't serve me any longer. Um, okay. So you guys know, I always end these videos with a little bit of a life lesson, not, not lesson, but just like, just life stuff too. Cause it's, you know, it's more than just fashion. And so yesterday I was talking about bringing in consciousness to your actions, right? So thinking through the things that we kind of do on autopilot, like going shopping on Black Friday just because they're deals or um, having that glass of wine when you go out to dinner with your friends just because you always have or um, reaching for the sweets around Christmas just because you always have and just bringing some consciousness into those and, and think a little bit more before you do those things. And I, I tasked you with picking one thing this week that you could just think through and challenge yourself to maybe do a little bit differently, right? Think about, is it serving you? Is it serving others? And would it better serve you to make some tweaks to that action? And so today I wanna dive on into that a little bit deeper and talk about your thoughts and what you say because it's more than just the actions that you take, right? What you think about yourself, about others, what you say about yourself, to yourself, to others, that is also creating your reality, right? I've been talking a lot yesterday about how color has energy. Everything in the world has energy. So what you say also has energy and vibrates and that's going right back into your body. So if you're talking about so, so much negativity if everything is just like, oh, I hate this, I hate that, oh, this is awful. It's just like putting that negative energy back into your body. So I want to just, I invite you to kind of think through um, the words that you're speaking. And there's there's simple shifts, and also in your thoughts, there's simple shifts that you can take to just step into a, uh, a more powerful place, a more conscious place. So if you catch yourself always saying, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I can't do that, I'm so busy, obviously the universe is gonna keep you really, really busy because that's what you're telling it, right? So, and that's what you're, that's what you're creating. Like we're always creating our reality. So if you don't want to always feel so busy, um, I invite you to shift those thoughts and um, you know, maybe start saying something like, I have plenty of time to get everything done today, or I have plenty of time, um, I have plenty of time for what I would like to do today, right? And just catch yourself because it's really those simple shifts and um, especially what you think about yourself too. So if every time you look in the mirror, you're going, oh, I hate this, I hate that, oh, my hair doesn't look good. Guess what, your hair's never gonna look good. So even if you're not fully feeling it initially, like sometimes you have to just kind of say it and get yourself to believe it, right? So looking in the mirror saying, oh my gosh, I am so beautiful, oh my gosh, my hair looks amazing, and then start to visualize those things. And I promise you, the more you do it, the more it comes true. Okay, so that's my little positive lesson for you today. Uh, I will let you guys go. Just remember, feel free to comment below specific themes that you'd like to see. Obviously this week we're doing blazers and jackets. 
Um, next week we're gonna do sweaters, and then I've, I've got a couple more. I've gotten some feedback to talk about pencil skirts and share ideas for pencil skirts, which I'm absolutely going to do. But anything else you'd like me to talk about, style, deconstruct, um, show you ways to put it together, please comment below. And also, as I mentioned yesterday, as you are trying these things that I'm showing, I would love for you to post snaps, uh, pictures of you in the comments so that I can see. Okay, so one last look at this little outfit and I'm excited to see what you guys are wearing. All right, go forth today stylishly and confidently. <laughs>